Libra, I hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to your reading. Libra, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in and see what we got going on for you. Wow, so a lot of, it's almost like your angels are telling you that there is a lot of pressure you're putting on yourself, but you got to relieve this pressure. First and foremost, you got the lover's card and the two of cups. Your angels are telling you when this pressure goes, when you choose your frequency and shape your reality, you are going to be drawn to someone because you're showing your angels and guides you are ready. And through divine source and divine timing, they are going to bring someone in your life that is your kindred spirit, your soulmate, even a business partner. You guys will not only fall in love, but on top of that, you're going to make millions of dollars together. How do I know this? Because it happened to my wife and I. We have multiple businesses businesses together, right? We have our Airbnbs, we have our YouTube channels. On top of that, Amazon businesses, day trading, real estate, investments. So right now your angels and guys are telling you that don't settle. You can have this as well. It's all here for you. You know, don't be in a relationship where you're not romantically connected to the person. Don't be in a job where you're not, where you're not, the love's not reciprocated. They're not paying you enough. You don't have to do that. But your angels and guys are telling you, you have to choose your frequency. The same way you choose your TV channels, the same way you choose your videos that you watch on YouTube, you have to strategically choose your frequency. In order for this to enter your life, you first and foremost have, would have to have seen it. You have to be a mind reader almost. And I'll give you an example. Right now, imagine I want to attract my soulmate into my life, right? In order for you to feel free and feel like you are in charge because you are the co-creator of your reality, you have to visualize what you're looking for before it happens. So rather than watch a show on Netflix over and over and over again, which does nothing, at that point, I would take 10 minutes as I'm brushing my teeth even, right? Anytime you have time, I would visualize myself walking into a grocery store, buying some salad, buying some food. Next thing you know, someone talks to me and says, hey, you know what, I just, uh, I was gonna buy that, is it good? It strikes a conversation. Next thing you know, we're exchanging numbers. I'm telling them, hey, I'd love to take you out for dinner sometime. And then 10 years down the road, we're married, have kids, we have businesses together. By doing so, by quantum entangling with that energy, you literally pave the way. That is the, it's like the yellow brick road, the infallible guide of what you're looking for. And that, is what your angels and guides want you to focus on. That is how you get what you're looking for. Harmony comes from following excitement, right? What excites you? That's why having imagination, creativity leads to money. Money is a byproduct. Love is a byproduct of your imagination. A lot, and if anyone says that this doesn't work, first off, they have no idea what quantum entanglement, quantum physics law of attraction is. But on top of that, look at them, be like, are they rich? Are they with their soulmate? Don't take your advice from them. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> if you <laughs> take advice from people who know what the heck they're doing, right? Don't be taking advice from someone that's negative. And right now, your angels and guys are telling you that this will be a very lucky, fortunate time for you, very abundant time for you. But action is needed. Action is the bridge to your manifestation. Action is exactly visualizing, right? If you're not doing this, you're telling your angels and guides, I don't know how to play this game. I am not ready for abundance and your angels and guys go no problem we're going to wait till you're ready and that's how it works that's why you know things are we're waiting for something right now now you also have the five of wands and nine of swords that's what i was getting at as far as the pressure last thing you want right now during this time frame is to put pressure on yourself your angels are telling you doubt slows the manifestation process you do not want to have any doubt for example I should have been rich by now. Why is my snowman not entered my life? That doubt right there, oh my goodness. It's like when you resist anything, you resist everything. And you're being told right now, do not at all have that doubt. Right now you have the calm card. So your angels and God just telling you, all you have to do is find peace, calm, and tranquility in your life and everything else will follow. And what that really means is you gotta understand, like at the end of the day, the, like remember how I mentioned like I would visualize myself at a grocery store running into someone that's because I don't know where I'm going to meet them it might be at the gas station grocery store birthday party it might be at uh, your job it might be going for a walk it might even be when you have a flat tire you do not know so when am I going to how is it going to happen you don't have to worry about any of that what you have to worry about is making sure that when you do run into this person you are on point you are feeling good right because you have to make an impression right no one owes you anything when that person you know when I meet that person at the 
grocery store, for example, imagine if I was a, if I was in shape properly, if I was kind of like a slob, if my hygiene wasn't good, if I wasn't feeling my best, you know, you think that person would want to date me? It's not how it works, right? So right now your angels and guides are telling you that this is a time to really get grounded and once you are grounded, to start, you know, presenting yourself to the world the way that you would want your soulmate to be. You manifest who you are, not what you want, and your emotions guide your alignment. Right now, if you want your soulmate to be clean, polite, well-mannered, you know, a charming, be that person first, right? Invest in yourself. Take some time for yourself. And also, you also do have the friendship card here. So I do see here that a part of you is really looking for a, a person that not only you're romantically connected with, but a best friend. Like my wife is my best friend. She really is. She's the only person on this planet that understands me, truly does understand me. That's because I know her from past lives, right? And this is not hocus pocus. This is real-ish. And this is why your angels are telling you, do not settled you can have this trust me on this this is your birthright this is this is as natural as you could ever imagine you're just dealing with so much brainwashing and influence in the third dimension of chaos and stimulation you are lucky to even like be where you're at right now in a very good way with with respect i say this you're doing a fantastic job but now that you have the insights and clarity now that you know what to do it's time for action now you got the two of pentacles page of pentacles right now there is a uh, abundant energy of wealth entering your life, but your angels need you decisive. They need you to take action as well. Right now, they're telling you that your reality is a mirror of your inner state. So when you cultivate an inner state of confidence, then you're going to be able to take advantage of this financial opportunity presenting itself to you. This opportunity could be a promotion at work, you know, maybe starting a business, you know, investing in something, someone showing you a way to, you know, purchase some crypto, something that's going to take off. But in order for this to do this, you gotta be confident. Like it's one thing for someone to come up to you and say, hey, listen, there's a great business idea. Here's some numbers, do your due diligence. It's another thing for you to be like, oh, I'm actually gonna take the leap of faith and start this business with you, right? That requires confidence, and right? Right now you're told to really bank your confidence, right? You, you know why I sound confident? It's just because I have knowledge. Confidence is nothing more than knowledge. I repeat this, you do not come out the womb confident. No one does. It's knowledge. You want to be confident in protecting yourself, learn martial arts. You want to be confident in business, market research. You want to be confident in love, study the human psyche. That's all it is, confidence, right? Right now, if you want to know how to, how, how to attract someone you know romantically, go on YouTube and type in, you know, what does your soulmate want, right? You'll realize that they want the same thing as you. They want fun, excitement, and joy. That's it. You know what I mean? So it's easy, it's easy. Like, hey, would you like to have a great time? I'd love to show you a fantastic time, you know, boom. So right now your angels and guides are telling you, Libra, that you are in a position to attract what you want, but in order to get it, you have to go get it. You have to become the cause and effect. And that cause and effect, when you start, you know, honoring your soul and just feeding yourself knowledge, wisdom, and joy, it becomes effortless. All right, now let's attract some money and love into your life. Time for your affirmation. Write down the following words in the comment section. Let your angels and guides know that you are quantum entangling with this energy and that you no longer are waiting for anything, but you're commanding, assuming, expecting it. Write down the words exactly as you see in the cards and write them down. As you write them down, feel it, right? You got to breathe life into it. So feel these words. Wow, look at this one. So write down the following affirmation exactly as you see in the comment section. I feel abundant and live a rich life now right you are saying right here right now you are already living a abundant rich life you're already a millionaire you're already with your soulmate you can feel it taste it matter of fact it's been 10 years you've been doing this this is normal if it's normal then it must be true right I feel abundant and live a rich life right now. This is you showing your angels and guides you know how to play this manifestation game. You're not wishing, wanting, hoping, needing. This is a fact, right? And the universe never second guesses you. It only delivers. Write this down in the comment section. Give this video a like right now. I feel abundant and live a rich life now. Now, this is beautiful. You're going to get it. Trust me. You are going to get exactly the abundance, which is your birthright. Your soulmate is owed to you. Money is owed to you. Time to go get this. Time to go get this. All right. Now, final message from your spirit guides. And right now they say that you have options is meaningful. Rock on. All right. So right now they say, if I could make just two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. Look at, these are your spirit guys. Like, tell me that's not the most awesome stuff ever. I'd also wish that you could somehow know of your, your unimaginable importance, just as you now are, to the lives of so very many. Look at that. And of course, I'd wish for an even
even more wishes. Oh shoot, you were such a good idea. <laughs> Man, your spirit guys love you so much. If you don't feel their unconditional love, I'm getting goosebumps right now. They, you gotta understand, you're going to see them in the fifth dimension when this genetic half of this vehicle, this body decays, it's all good, you'll get reincarnated, you will see them. When you see them, you're gonna party hard, let me tell you, and I'm telling you, they love you so much, and they're telling you right now that you are perfect, you are absolutely perfect, okay? There's nothing that could be even better. You gotta love yourself the way they love you, and that love, that byproduct of everything you're looking for will come from that. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, uh, love is your superpower.